Getting a snare drum to fit just right in the track is one of the hardest things to accomplish as a tracking and mixing engineer. In this video, I'm going to go over a couple different techniques to help make the snare drum fit just right in the song during the tracking process. The first example is the snare drum wide open. This is a good technique to use in a rock song or anything where the snare needs to cut through the track. The second example uses a moon gel underneath the snare top microphone. The moon gel helps eliminate about 60 to 70% of the ring of the snare drum. In the third example, we use the Remo dampening ring. The dampening ring eliminates about 90 to 100% of the ring of the snare drum. This is really helpful if you want the snare really loud in the track, but don't want the overtones of the snare to get in the way of the other instruments or the vocals. In the fourth example, we use the classic wallet technique. Placing a wallet on the snare drum will give you a tone kind of somewhere in between the moon gel and the dampening ring. It will allow some of the ring to come through, but not be as dead as the dampening ring or as much ring as the moon gel. In the final example, we flip the snare drum over so the snare side is actually facing up. This is a good technique to use when the snare needs to be really tight and just sit back in the mix. A classic technique used on many vintage and Motown recordings. Being in the recording studio is time for being creative. Hopefully some of these techniques will help make the snare drum sit right in your next recording session. For those watching at home, if you have any techniques that aren't mentioned in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.